Electricity, the force that powers our lives. When we flip the switch, we expect the lights to come on. Most of us don't realize how much we depend on electricity in our daily lives until a power outage occurs. But those times are rare. At Hawaii Electric Light Company, we work hard to produce electricity to meet your needs at the exact time you want it. On Hawaii Island, we depend on many power plants in Hilo, Waimea, Puna, Hamakua, and Kona. We also get electricity from geothermal energy produced in Puna, and we get power from wind farms in Havi, Waikaloa, and Salt Point, and from several small hydro plants near Hilo. Each plant supplies electricity to the island grid that is distributed to you wherever you live. Traditional power plants use fossil fuels to make electricity. Oil and coal are fossil fuels. They're called fossil fuels because they are the fossil remains of plants and animals buried deep underground millions of years ago that have turned to coal or oil or natural gas. Our steam units use medium sulfur residual fuel. It's called residual because it's what's left over after jet fuel, diesel, gasoline, synthetic gas, and kerosene have been removed from the crude oil. How do we make electricity? The oil is pumped through pipes and arrives at the power plant boiler where it is mixed with air and burned in a furnace. When the fuel-air combination is ignited, a fireball swirls around inside the boiler, heating up to about 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The boiler is a tall, six-story box lined with miles and miles of steel tubes inside. Pure, demineralized water is pumped through those tubes and turns into wet steam. Wet steam is superheated until all the liquid water evaporates, and what's left is dry steam. Where does that dry steam go? That steam under very high pressure is channeled through a narrow pipe to a turbine, a sort of giant pinwheel. The constant blast of steam turns the turbine at terrific speeds, 3600 revolutions per minute. The turbine turns an electromagnet that spins within heavy copper wire coils to generate electricity. Hawaii Electric Light Company also uses combustion turbines. These use an engine like those used in jets. The engine is connected to a turbine, rotating those electromagnets very fast to make electricity. It takes 12 ounces of oil, about a coffee mug full, to produce a kilowatt hour of electricity. That's enough to keep a 100 watt light bulb bright for 10 hours. We want to be good neighbors and we're sensitive to our impact on the environment. We clean and demineralize our wastewater and we minimize noise by using state-of-the-art noise suppressing technology. Our stacks are tall. This helps limit ground level emissions and to meet Environmental Protection Agency and State Department of Health regulations and clean air standards. In fact, the air quality in Hawaii is amongst the cleanest in the nation. We just described the process of making electricity using traditional generators. Hawaii Island is also an international leader in the use of renewable energy. We are fortunate to live on an island blessed with an abundance of clean, renewable energy sources like the geothermal heat from deep within the Earth's surface, the sun and wind, our streams and the ocean, and fast-growing energy crops. In Puna, a geothermal plant uses deep wells to tap into heated water and steam created by the intense volcanic heat deep within the Earth. The steam is brought to the surface through pipes to push the turbines. Once the steam and hot water has been used, it is returned to the earth in what is called a closed loop system. If you look around, you'll see the power of the wind. Native Hawaiians recognized this power and used it to fill the sails on their canoes. Wind farms use tall towers and large blades to harness the power of the blowing wind. As the blades spin, they turn a turbine, which drives the generator that produces electricity. But the wind doesn't blow all the time and not always with the same strength. So the electricity generated by a wind farm increases and decreases, often within seconds. This is the reason we cannot solely depend on the wind to meet all of our electricity needs. The sun is an infinite source of renewable energy. The sun can provide two types of energy, heat and light. Heat energy from the sun is most commonly used in solar water heating systems. You may have seen a solar system like this on rooftops in your neighborhood. The solar collectors absorb the sun's heat and the heat is transferred to water in tubes in the solar panels. It is much like how the water in a garden hose heats up from sitting in the hot sun during the day. Light energy from the sun can be captured to generate electricity. 
Panels commonly made from layers of silicon, the same material found in computer chips, are made into solar cells, also known as photovoltaic cells. This kind of electricity is called photovoltaic or PV electricity. As the sunlight strikes the PV cell, electrons are freed and then flow through a circuit. This is another way to make electricity. Of course, the sun doesn't shine at night and sometimes clouds cover the sun. So like wind power, PV power does not give us firm, always available electricity. For this reason, PV makes a valuable addition to our collection of energy resources, but we can't solely depend on solar power to meet all of our electricity needs either. Moving water is another source of power. Hydro is the Latin word for water, so hydroelectric means electricity produced by water. On the island of Hawaii, we don't have strong rivers and do not use dams to create electricity as they do on the mainland. We use what is called run-of-the-river hydro. Running water is diverted from a stream through a pipe that flows into a power plant. As the water passes through the plant, the force of the stream turns a turbine which generates electricity. The water is then returned to the stream just as it came out. Hydroelectric power is the oldest form of electrical generation in Hawaii and our island has three hydroelectric power plants located along the Wailuku River in Hilo. We believe the ocean can be a great resource of renewable energy too. Anyone who's caught a wave understands the ocean holds tremendous power. Different methods are being developed to use the motion of waves and currents to drive generators to create electricity. Wave energy uses the rise and fall of the ocean to move air that will turn a turbine. Another technology called Ocean Thermal Energy Conversion, or OTEC, is based on using the difference between the temperature of deep cold seawater and warmer surface waters to turn a turbine. This technology was first tested and proved at the Natural Energy Laboratory Hawaii Authority, NELHA, at Kailua Kona. Scientists and engineers are now studying how to take this technology out of the laboratory and turn it into an affordable, reliable way to make electricity. Biofuels are another form of renewable energy. That means using plant matter to create electricity. Plant matter can be burned directly to create heat to turn a turbine or can be processed and made into liquid fuel, like biodiesel, that can be used in our power plants and power diesel cars. Biofuels can be made from plants harvested on farms. They can be grown over and over again, creating a renewable supply of fuel. To make biodiesel, vegetable oil is squeezed out of the harvested crops and converted into biodiesel. Biofuels burn more cleanly than fossil fuels, creating less pollution and fewer greenhouse gases. The growing plants also help by absorbing carbon from the atmosphere as they grow and help to naturally curb our impact on global warming. Growing crops to make biofuels can support farmers in Hawaii and help keep our islands green. Biomass is organic matter that can be in the form of plants, agriculture, or forestry residues, the organic component of household and commercial waste, and the gas generated from landfills. Examples of biomass resources used to produce electricity in Hawaii include sugarcane by gas, the fibrous residue left over after sugar is extracted from cane, garbage, and landfill-generated methane. Biomass can be used as a fuel to support the combustion process that generates heat for the production of steam. This steam is then used to drive turbine generators to produce electricity. In biomass gasification, the biomass feedstock is converted to a fuel gas and utilized in a gas turbine to generate electricity. Landfills produce a gas called methane as a result of the lack of oxygen in decomposing organic waste. The gas can be collected and directed to a gas turbine generator to produce electricity. Scientists are constantly researching ways to improve our ability to use renewable energy. As you've seen, no one source of renewable power can meet all of our energy needs. However, we can combine all of these different resources using some wind power and river power, taking advantage of solar water heating, solar electricity, tapping into the power from beneath the Earth's surface, and unlocking the potential of our ocean. By diversifying our energy mix with more renewable energy and increasing our energy efficiency, we can reduce our dependence on imported oil, keep our air and water cleaner, limit greenhouse gas emissions that contribute to global warming, and move us to a more sustainable and renewable future. It will take all of us working together to make our preferred energy future happen.
Once electricity is generated, no matter what source is used, we also have to deliver that electricity to where you want it. That presents a particular challenge here on the Big Island. We deliver power to over 4,000 square miles of territory. By comparison, Oahu has a service territory of only about 600 square miles. Because a large amount of our power is produced in East Hawaii, we need to move it to the rest of the island over transmission lines traversing the vast Big Island. To do this, we use substations and transformers, plus a grid of electric wires to bring electricity to your home, school, or business. This is a switch yard. It's like an airport runway from where our electricity takes off. When the power gets to you, sometimes from very far away, it has gone through this complex routing system. In your house, electricity is always flowing through a network of wires. You tap into that electricity whenever you flip your light switch or plug something in. The power that you consume and pay for is measured in what's called kilowatt hours. We read your meter every month to get this information, which is then reflected on your electric bill. We produce electricity to meet your demands instantly, reliably. You get electricity when you want it. Using clean renewable resources is just one part of our energy future. We must also become better at not wasting electricity. Conserving energy is something each and every one of us can start doing today. It's as simple as turning off the lights when you leave the room. Reduce your hot water use by cutting two minutes off your showers and washing clothes in cold water whenever possible. And did you know that washing dishes in an electric dishwasher actually uses less energy and water than washing them by hand? Light your rooms with compact fluorescent bulbs. They use much less energy and last longer than incandescent bulbs. When it comes time to buy new appliances, like a refrigerator, stove, or television, look for Energy Star appliances. They may cost a little more at first, but they cost less to operate. And open windows and use fans to circulate air instead of using an air conditioner whenever possible. While these are just a few simple things to conserve energy, every little bit counts. At Helco, meeting our customers' energy needs is our number one priority. We are working with customers, big and small, to help them manage their energy bills by helping them select energy efficient technologies for their homes and businesses. At Hawaii Electric Light Company, our employees work hard to provide you the best possible service. Your family, friends, and neighbors work here. This island is our home. And our Helco Ohana takes to heart our commitment to serving you and our community.